We are talking about constructing quadrilaterals using a compass. And we're talking about the special quadrilaterals, the trapezoid, the parallelogram, the kite, the rectangle, the rhombus, and the square. Now, we don't actually go about trying to construct a trapezoid. We go about trying to construct something that has one pair of parallel sides, because that's one of the properties of a trapezoid. We don't just go to construct a parallelogram. We try to draw something that has two pairs of parallel sides. Or maybe we try to draw something that has opposite sides congruent. Or diagonals that bisect each other. Any one of these properties makes us a parallelogram. Rectangle. I don't just go to make a rectangle. I just try to make four congruent right angles, and that is a rectangle. Or I go to make diagonals that are congruent. That is a rectangle. So you go after the property that you want, of the shape that you want. So if I want to make a trapezoid, I want to do a pair of parallel sides. Well, basic construction, pair of parallel sides. I need a side, I need to make two perpendiculars. So I need a couple circles to make perpendiculars. Again, two circles crossing, make a perpendicular. They can be any size, doesn't matter. They do need to be on that line, otherwise they're not perpendicular to the line. I need to know where these circles are crossing each other. That will get me one perpendicular. Then I do it again. And I just care about where they cross, so I actually don't have to draw the whole circle. I just need where they cross. But the circle was centered on the line. That's very important. If it's not centered on the line, it starts turning. Not parallel. So there's a set of parallel sides. Well, that is also part of my construction for a rectangle and a parallelogram. So a trapezoid needs one set of parallel lines. Well, the other lines don't matter. I can make my trapezoid here, here, because I got one set of parallel. That's the idea of a trap. Now, my rectangle. Well, rectangle, can we squeeze through? Well, there's my trap. Awesome, perfect trap. Well, my rectangle, remember, we got a 90 down here, and we got a 90 over here. I need another 90 up here, though. So I just take my circles, make a couple circles up here, Actually, I just only need to make one circle and then find out where this other one's going to cross it. And that gets me another perpendicular. So, I've got a rectangle because I've got a perpendicular right here. Here's one corner right here. Here is the other corner. And then here is another 90. Well, we know the quadrilaterals have to add up to 360. If I got three 90s, that's 270. And the rest would make it 360. We can make a square out of this idea. We can make a parallelogram out of this. Let's make a rhombus and a kite. A rhombus has four sides that are the same size. Well, if I make, again, if I make a circle, how big is that and how big is that? They're the same size. 
And if I make two circles the same size, I get four radii. So, I need to know where my centers are. And I need to draw a circle around there. And I need another center. And I gotta make sure they overlap. They must intersect. The circles must. They gotta be the same size. I'm always interested in where things cross. That's important. So here's our rhombus, right there. This, from here to here, is a radius. So it is size R. From here to here, radius, size R. Radius, size R. And because they're the same size circles, those are all the same. That's your rhombus. So kite's pretty similar, except that one of these pair has to be a different size. So we just make a different size circle. So let's make a small circle up top. Again, you really always, well, you always need to know where that center of your circle is. That circle's not coming out well. Let's try this again. See, it happens to everybody. All right. And then we'll make another circle. But bigger or smaller, doesn't matter, but it does have to cross. And I really only care about where it crosses. I don't care about the rest of the circle. But we'll draw the rest of the circle. If you want to, you call this a baby snowman, because it's only got two circles. We care about where it crosses. So there's our kite. How big is this? It's R, but R1 for the first circle. How big is this part of the kite? R1, so I got a pair of adjacent congruent sides. And then I've got another second pair of adjacent congruent sides because they are the second radius. Two circles made me this awesome kite. Two circles made me this awesome rhombus.